Welcome back guys, it's Preet's coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 296 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. And I hope you guys are all having a great old day. Today we start off with Mark, some people don't like it. We also start off one heart of health, a little bit rough. But we get above average tier rate, above average damage, and we get the trinket that gives us a little head that flies with us. And we get the mega bean. Now what I am going to do is instantly use Guppy's paw. That way I'm not like a death's doorstep. Now some people might be like, that was a mistake. Who knows? I don't know if that was actually a mistake. I don't know if that was what I should do. But I feel like that's my best option right there. Just to make sure that I'm not one shot. If I walked into a room and there's a champion or like a bomb fly or something that could do an entire heart of damage to me at once, I don't want to die to that so I'm just gonna go to more health because I have that option and one like is three soul hearts more like as good as one red heart not exactly like if I get three soul hearts on this floor other than the ones I just I just got it's gonna be kind of an L maneuver that I did but we don't care about that all that we care about <coughs> is that I can stay alive for this floor now could I have done that with a single heart of health maybe but why would we risk it and also just so you guys know the the seed is 6f 3l rj e6 and because we're getting close to r run number 300 in a row, some people have been talking about what I should do. That really sucks. What I should do for run 300 in a row. And so there's been a lot of different things people have said. Like, I mean, in, in the past, people have just been like, you should do this for 300, you should do that. So it's always like Tainted Eden, Greed Mode. That's what I'm, I'm kind of thinking towards right now. Somebody said a G Fuel run. Now, I will never, ever, ever do a G Fuel run um, for the Eden Streak. There's zero reason to do that. Now, if I did do a G Fuel run for the Eden Streak, I would maybe take two G Fuels. I would actually do some, like, planning beforehand and decide how many G Fuels I'm going to take. Because, let me tell you, if I were to take... Come back here. If I were to take, like, 14 G Fuels, I would just lose the run. That's guaranteed. 100%. If I take maybe two, I think I might be just a little stronger. Now, the G Fuel just isn't that good. But anyways, that's just, that's just going to be the plan. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm, 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 I mean, I'm not going to try to do that. We're not going to do this whole G Fuel thing. That sounds like an awful time for an Eden Streak run. I'm trying to win. I'm trying not to lose my Eden Streak. That is always the play. We are getting a lot of health. I know I lost a lot of health. Kind of an El Bozo maneuver. But, hey, listen. It happens to the best of us. And let me just bomb this. I know it's kind of a weird thing. I'm losing all my money. But if I need money, I should have waited. I should have waited until I actually went to the shop. Okay, now I probably could have come here earlier and then just probably gotten some health, but I think we're in an okay position. I'm going to take you, then I'm going to donate some health. I'm not a big fan um, of 4.5 volt, especially because it says like damage needed per charge increases per floor, which is kind of rough. You need a lot of damage to like get like the most basic charges on items, and so it's really bad for like floors. It's really good for fights like Delirium, for Hush. Any fight that you're going to be there for a while, even like Beast is a really good one, because you're going to do a lot of damage in a single room. If you're going to, if you plan on doing a lot of damage in a single room, sure, take it. If you're planning on doing a regular run, it's kind of bad. It's actually pretty bad. Kind of not recommended, in my opinion. Or I don't recommend it, personally. But to each their own, if people want to game, they can game. Also, I am going to go for Angel Deals today, since why not? I know I could probably get Guppy relatively easily not like the easiest thing ever but i think i could get it relatively easily also i'm gonna make a big mistake right here and do this big mistake okay well i was like I either use that right there and try to get two bombs or i am just out of luck and no matter what i was out of luck but i actually am a big fan of marked i think marked is actually kind of a decent item i prefer to have it later in the game first floor marked is not my favorite it does give us a good tier rate which isn't too bad but I'm decent enough with it. It also allows us to like kind of, it's not, I was going to say easy, like shoot a little easier, but it's not easier, especially with faster enemies that actually move. If you have somebody like who stands still, you're fine. And please give me something good, nothing good. Our range is increased, which is nothing helpful. And there's literally nothing super helpful about any of this. So we'll go next floor. And I, I'm glad I used Guppy's Paw because I'm taking so much damage. Because Marked might not be the best item ever, that's about it. Marks is just not the best item ever, and I realize that. But it's 
it's it's better on runs where you like get it later in the run and you already have a pretty op build because like once i get to the mega scene fight listen if i can just stand still and just run around and focus on dodging while still hitting mega scene with barely any adjustments i'm gonna do that instead that's a much a much better time if i have to like be moving around the stupid aim thing for thirteen thousand years i don't want it and don't ever give me bad trip again or else thank you sincerely preets your beloved yeah, so th episode 300 is going to be, it's going to take a while for us to get there. It's going to take a second since I am doing the everyday upload. Um, today that I'm recording this is Thursday. Some bad news. Now, you guys won't hear about this until, like, I've been at Disney for a, a, a solid second and a half. Um, so, uh, not our trip, but our, so we are going to take the auto train to go down to Disney. I don't know if I explained this yesterday or what, but there is a, I did explain this the other day. But basically, we're, we are going to take a train. And the train is one of the like it is one of the only trains that allows you to take a car um, where you also ride on the train, something like that. So it's called the auto train, and it goes from Lorton, Virginia, down to um, down to Orlando, which no, Lorton's like not super far away from us. It's close enough to where we can go there, put our tra our car on the train, and take like a 16-hour train ride overnight that we can sleep and just have a good time, and, and we can get to Disney World. Uh, that got canceled I, all ra very randomly they're like logistic something logistically went wrong we have a friend who like drives for amtrak which apparently there's something called a train driver i don't know what that is i don't know engineer and conductor but yeah so there's like nope we are still coming back on the train but now we just have to drive down to orlando which is a, an 11 hour drive or something like that pretty miserable can't lie also this is why we love marked like look at this this is the easiest life. All I do is dodge. If I can just dodge all day, I'm a happy camper. But yeah, I'm very not, very much not, not looking forward to the drive. The thing is, no matter what, it was either we we're gonna be on a train for 16 hours, which that sure that included eight hours of sleeping or whatever. But I mean, it's it's okay. I, I'm I'm still kind of disappointed. My parents are like, I was like, why not just fly if we're not taking the train? And they're like. Getting, a t getting tickets is going to be really awful right this second. I looked up tickets. for It's going to be $300 per person to, for a round trip to go there. Which, uh, not even $300. Slightly less than $300. I'm like, this is cheaper than my tickets that I bought to, like, see Kielvin. This is, this is cheaper than my tickets I bought to go, like, I'm like, these are cheap tickets. But they're like, no, we can't do it. And so, I, I was like, I, I don't know why in the first place we didn't decide to fly. My dad's like, listen... <laughs> our driving was our third option if there's any other way we could do this we would be flying if we got a little bit more time to plan i'm like i don't know why we planned on taking our car down there in the first place because disney is like one of the few places that like having your car really doesn't benefit you like does it benefit you like a little bit sure having your car is nice but like having to drive your car and go park it at amusement parks is not fun it's not a good time the thing about disney is there's literally buses there's like there's like these like rail these rail trains and guess what we're gonna be taking the rail trains from Di from park to park most likely we're not gonna be driving to from Disney Park to Disney Park so like we're not even gonna be using our car that much I don't know I was just like it this is kind of ridiculous I, I don't know why we wanted the luxury of having our car because I think it's actually like it was more expensive to take to take the train I'm pretty sure maybe not but I know it's kind of expensive but it was like almost the same price as flying and they're like well if it's the same price as flying and we could take our car we might as well i'm like that's that's illogical also dang uh, wait let me test something why does epiphoria not work with this this should be the one of the instances that epiphoria just works really really well well i know i probably should have taken the book but i didn't want the book so i didn't take the book therefore i don't have the book i think it's fine but yeah, I was like kind of an L maneuver. Uh, part of me was, I, I, part of me was like, the whole time. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday. It was like my brother and I should just fly. Yeah, I, I mentioned this to my coworker today. I'm like my, I was like, part of me was thinking my brother and I should just be able to fly. <laughs> my parents should just take the train if they want to take the train, and that's fine, because that's that. But it is a family vacation. They want us to all be on the same place. I don't know. It's just logistically the train made sense but the fact that it got canceled it's just like this is an l maneuver 
we just got absolutely bam blasted i don't want to be in a car for 11 hours that sounds like it's like the worst sounding vacation of my life jeez we almost got so 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 unbelievably horridly screwed over if i would have gone to the shop i wouldn't have had a key for this room i kind of forgot that this kind of angel deal even existed it's not even part of like in my mind that this could be an option i've not seen this angel deal in eons Get me out of here. I don't want to be any part of this. And I think... Do I want poison tears? Okay, it's barely any poison tears. I'd rather get more soul hearts. But yeah, look at that. I wouldn't have been able to go. That's insane. I'm glad I did what I did. But yeah, so... That's the update right now. I mean, we're still, like, set to get to Disney earlier than we were supposed to. So, like, not like... It's not like it's really bad news. The only bad news is that my dad has to drive. And let me tell you, when my family drives... It's never just a calm experience. The drive is never calm. I honestly don't like... I, I just don't like being in the car. This is the issue with the car. There's no outlets to plug things in. I own AirPods. AirPods. Now, do I, do I listen to... Like, do I listen to music while I'm in, like, on a, a family car ride? No, because my family's usually playing something. But the thing is, they play the most random stuff. It's like... The stuff that we listen to is so... Like, sometimes we listen to, like pandora stations with comedians on it which that's nice that's fun i love like brian reagan uh mike birbiglia uh jim gaffigan those guys all those guys great they're super funny sometimes we like just listen to like books on tape which also fine not something i really want to listen to but you might be like what's the issue with your airpods airpods don't have infinite life so like i the thing is if i want to use my airpods i have to use them for a while take them out put them back in the case for like an hour put them back in Take them back out, put them in the case for a little bit, because the ch case charges the AirPods. And it's just like it's not a it's not a fun time. So I mean, would that have happened on like literally anything, even like a plane? If I went on a plane, sure. But plane gets there in in less than two hours. This is the this is the whole issue. Like taking taking a train that costs the same as a flight. I'm like we're not benefiting anyway. We're spending e the longest amount of time possible. 16 hours is the longest time it can possibly take for us to get from where we are to Orlando. Taking a car is faster. Taking a plane is faster. Taking a bus may also be faster. Not my salty, not actually. I really don't even care. The car ride's gonna be fine. I just need something to talk about. But I was just like, if we get a refund on the train, I, I, I might just ask my parents how much the plane, or not the plane, how much the train costs. Cause I, like I am willing to spend my own money on a plane ticket <laughs> just fly down there i i absolutely hate car rides absolutely hate them it's just the most uncomfortable way to travel like the thing is i, I will be on i'll be honest i, I will be honest I'm, i'll be honest i will say airplanes are just as uncomfortable as car rides the luxury of a plane though is that it takes you way 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 less time insanely less amount of time like i'm going to oregon and it's going to take me i think six hours seven hours in total to get there if you were to drive across the entire continent of the u.s which yes it's a continent it actually is the entire con driving all the way across the continent of north america because it's left to right i mean if you, what's crazy is if you drove from the skinniest part of like is the Panama Panama Canal is in Panama? If in okay, Mexico is part of North America, right? Technically Central America. Anyways, NATO, something like that. North America. If you go across the skinniest part of Mexico, you're actually going all the way across the continent of North America. I know, crazy concept. But yeah, it's just unfortunate, and it's not. It, you might like. I don't want it to sound like I'm like. Oh, why can't we spend mo like? It might sound like privilege, like, oh, why can't we just get plane tickets? No, the issue is, is that we spent the same amount of money on train tickets as we did plane tickets. So why not just get plane tickets? I don't know. It, it, it's what it is. It, I, nothing's going to change. I can, I can say everything I want to say, everything I possibly can say, and the outcome's not going to change. Just because that's, it's, it's a family trip. What's fun about car rides is we do stop at like gas stations, get snacks. The thing is, I just, I don't know. I need to start downloading some anime. I really, really, really need to watch 
the newest Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho is one of the those animes that's just so insane. I always forget that I've even watched it. It's definitely in my top like five animes. I think top five has to be like Hunter x Hunter, My Hero Academia, Ranking of Kings, Mob Psycho, and SAO has to go up there just for like logistical reasons. You have to put you have to put it up there. It's like it's like that anime that everybody's watched because it's like the it's like the intro to anime. It's everybody's it's baby's first anime. That's what it is really. So I love it. Now other shows that I like, um, I've been watching Fire Force. Fire Force is like a pretty good show. My Hero Academia. Like I, I was listening to a podcast, um, Trash Taste Podcast, and they had uh, Moist Critical on, and they were talking about like how My Hero Academia just all like fell off after like season two, which I'm like maybe maybe it did. I'm not a big person into like thinking shows like fell off or I, I never I don't know I never like really. If I like a show, I will like everything. Like, sure, like the gentle or gentle whatever it is arc was like one of the dumbest things in the existence of my hero. And like the whole like Christmas concert arc was so stupid. But I liked it. I liked it a lot. Also, I didn't even realize there's more rooms for me to fight in. And we got so many keys from that. So, I might download some anime, watch it. I need to finish Fire Force. My issue is like. I just am so bad. Like, if I'm in bed at night, I, I don't, like, like sit there and, like, watch shows. I'm Like, recently I've been playing Pokemon in bed or, like, playing, like, Brawl Stars on my phone in bed. Just doing something other than just, like, watching the TV. Because, I don't know. I, I, it's, I don't want to focus on it. But the thing is, I also stay up so late that by the time I get to bed, I'm only in bed for, like, 30 minutes before I'm, like, too tired to even perceive what's happening around me so I just knock out so it's all thing also I want to try something okay wait okay so I think okay now this is a little hype I was wrong so if you guys don't understand like exactly what the range of this is I can go all the way to the corner of this room, all the way to the corner of this room. If I go to the corner, though, like, I can only go to the corners. If I go anything higher than the corners, like, we have a vertical line, right? If you split up everything into, a, like, into quadrants like this and tilt it, so you tilt it 45 degrees, we have quadrants like this. If I go out of my little bottom triangle qu quadrant, I lose the stat, the stat increase, as you saw right there. So if I stand here, yep. You can see that I can walk all across this line. I can walk, I can do whatever I want on this line. I can even like get up here. If I walk slightly up though, I've now gotten out of the quadrant, so I lose my, my tier rate. Actually a really cool little little thing. I, I, was, I was like, I was confused why it wasn't working before, because technically we are shooting in a straight line. So that's actually really, really cool that that works like I thought it would. So now, we have some we have some things we can do with that. Not really. We just get an actual a pretty important stat increase for very little. It allows me just to like be able to move around a little bit while still getting it. it actually makes Epiphoria really good. I don't remember if it's called Epiphoria. I used to call it Euphoria. I don't know what it's called. I call it everything the wrong thing, and if I call it different things, people will get mad. Also, uh if you don't understand uh so if you understand how that works. That means I can also move it in these like weird diagonal quadrants. So I can move it all the way to the corner. I can move it all the way almost to the corner of the room. Like if I start shooting here, I can move all the way over here. But I can't move down. If I move down, I lose my tier rate up. If you guys are confused what's happening, I'm sorry. I, I don't, I'm, I'm bad at explaining things. To, like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a math tutor, but I'm still bad at explaining things. Like if people don't get something that is like, Honestly, like pretty rudimentary to my like to in my mind. It just doesn't really make sense I'm just like it it, it is honestly just it is quite easy. This is quite an easy concept I'm always gonna be like that though I'm trying to use my Powers to my advantage and having homing actually makes it insanely good too now. Can I yeah, so it's everything set up in these weird quadrants so I can this is what's weird is if I'm standing right here, I can shoot 
Okay, that's kind of weird. I was I was on the line of a quadrant, so it didn't really work out that well. So I can go all the way across here, but I can also move. But the quadrant I move in is it is the inverse or the 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 flip of the quadrant I can shoot in, kind of, which is really weird. So I can shoot in a in a downwards cone below my my thing, and I can shoot in an upwards cone away from me. That's where I can move my pointer. Super weird. Super interesting. I like it. But yeah, I don't know. I just like some things just come naturally to me and if they don't come naturally to other people i'm like gg just don't learn it how about that <laughs> which is something that kind of amazed me is the amount of people in like the engineering field whenever i was studying e like at either school there was people who like i mean they were they were intelligent but they were so like awful at math like it, it was almost impressive now i will say i'm not like the i'm not like insanely good at math like, I'm not the best math doer in the entire universe. Definitely not the best math doer ever. But I, I am I am I am quite good at math. Not like any prodigy, but much very above average. Uh, this is not like this. I, I don't know. I don't want to sound like I'm gloating, but just from my personal experience, I, I I'm pretty good at math. So I don't know. So it just it still just never makes sense when people don't understand things. Even like. To the, the degree that some people didn't understand things, doesn't make sense. And I would say just in general, I'm a pretty fast learner. I've always done well in school. But like in certain classes, when it came to like the most rudimentary things, I did well in. I don't know if this is because I'm good at learning or if it's I'm good at like seeking out information. Whether it's using Google, Wikipedia, or anything like that, I can find information pretty fast. But I find so many people are just incapable of like finding answers to questions they have online. Whether it's like, how do I do something to, with a PC? How do I like install something? How do I like do many things? I will I will type in different search terms until I find my answer. Same thing with like school. I will fi I'll find out how to do something even if I'm not finding out exactly the answer to the question I have. I'll find out how I can get to that answer. And some people just can't do that. It's quite crazy. Luck up is absolutely huge. That's why I saved that verb all this time. I am trying to gulp this. Can I please gulp this trinket? I'm going to lose as much health as I need to before I gulp this. Because I do... Okay, good, 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 good. I do like the trinket, the teardrop trinket. I know I don't have any tears that go into that tear effect. Or ha I don't have any luck-based tear effects. But it is such a good trinket that actually, in the future, if I get something that is a luck-based tear effect, I will be very very well off because of that also if you ever have um some sort of item that allows you to gulp trinkets never ever swallow monkeys not monkey's paw but uh left hand it's just not worth it because you lose all access to gold chest if you do take it and you end up gulping it only ever go to go shield dark room if you go anything other than shield dark room you're just making a little bit of a whoopsie dipsy because it's just not worth it because you go to chest you get red chest the red chests don't have devil items in them i'm pretty sure maybe they do i can't remember but just go to dark room it's the best option let's go to the super secret room hopefully this is it thank you yeah i don't know it's like i'm just somebody i feel i don't know it's so weird i i do really like learning like when i'm at like work if there's something i can't remember i will like find out like ants like how like i'll find out as much as i can about it on like my little tablet that i have i'll do as much work as i need to to find out answers also i'm just gonna do this real quick i don't think it's a bad idea we no longer have angel deals but we literally have one of the best angel items to ever live so i'll take it also the depths crazy i don't come here often um but yeah i was like there's there's this thing i was trying to explain to one of my one of my students today and it was the idea of, and I also tried to explain this to a coworker, but the the, high, the coworker was a high schooler, and he was like, he didn't he didn't understand, he didn't get the vision. <laughs> and the same the same student that I was explaining it to, he asked he asked me what, d how like he didn't understand division for like the certain thing he was working on. And it's like it's pretty complex stuff. It, like it's it, I mean it's division of imaginary numbers, um or like fractions of div like um imaginary numbers, like kind of like that. Uh, where you have to like, you have to multiply by the reciprocal, and the con you have to multiply, not by the reciprocal. You have to multiply multiply by the conjugate, 
to get make it so there's no like imaginary number in the denominator anyways he said i don't understand division i'm like you don't understand the vision <laughs> i'm like the I'm like that yeah i guess i guess if you don't understand like what you're doing exactly you don't understand the vision i'm like it's a weird way to say it but he's like no division like, oh, that's funny anyways that's why i said division but so basically i was watching this video a long time ago i tried to explain it um Ooh, five percent chance to shoot this. My my luck doesn't affect this. Let's go. That is just a percent chance. Um, I was trying to explain this this like TED talk I was listening to, and it was a pretty advanced concept that I didn't fully understand myself. But it's the idea that like of why we understand the fourth dimension exists and why how we don't understand or like why we don't exactly know the fifth dimension exists. Something like that, kind of along those lines, and it was explaining the fourth dimension. It was explaining all of that. So, if you guys don't know, like, our eyes perceive a three-dimensional world in 2D. And you might, be see you might be like, no, we see in 3D. No, we see in 2D. We are seeing a flat image on our brains, we but we perceive depth. So, there's, there's a little bit of a difference. Same thing with a camera. A camera is a 3D object that, lives, that exists in the 3D world that shoots two-dimensional pictures. And it perceives the world in two dimensions. And uh, that, that's what it does. And so, the reason why we know the fourth dimension exists is because we live in the third dimension. If if we live in the third dimension, then we know that us living in the third dimension means that we live in a slice of the fourth dimension almost. So, like, when we take a picture of the third dimension, we're, just t we're getting a, a, a two-dimensional slice of the third dimension. You know, I know this makes no sense. I'm probably explaining this as bad as I possibly can. But, like, if you ever, like, if you look at, like, a video game, you look at a movie, you look at anything like that, you have a 3D game. But if you take a slice of the 3D game, it's a frame. That's why we have frames per second. Everything is a frame, and those frames stack up to give us the game. So, it's kind of like that. It, like, what we see is a bunch of frames of a 3D world to create a 3D, like, idea in our minds. That's like the one we see, that kind of stuff. I anyways, so like the reason why we know a, f a fourth dimension exists is because we live in the, the third dimension, therefore like, the f we live in the third dimension, therefore we exist in like the fourth dimensional world or something like that. That's what the guy was saying on the, on the, the TED talk. Then the reason why we can't explain the fifth dimension is because we only perceive in the third dimension something like that anyways it was it was a crazy thing the actual what he was talking about did it make any sense to me not completely but it was a cool it was a really cool it was a really cool thing to listen to because it, it's like very interesting and i think it comes down to like i don't know if it's quantum mechanics quantum physics i don't know what it is but it was cool i want to find that ted talk or whatever the video was again that i was looking at because it honestly is just such a such an interesting concept now what are the implications of it I don't think it has any implications that have any impact on anything in this world. I don't know why we'd care about the fourth dimension. That's what the student asked for. I'm like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if the fourth dimension means anything to us. Now, a lot of like, it's not physicists, uh, lots of physicists, that's the word. Lots of physicists and people like bi big brain smart people have, have, have tried to like prove the idea that the fifth dimension exists and like what the fifth dimension is. Also, I can literally find the secret room so easy. Let me go do that. And so, like, it, it must be something that's important. But I don't know. It doesn't sound it doesn't sound like anything I need to know. But it was it is like it's a pretty cool idea. I think it's pretty pretty darn interesting. So I was trying to trying to explain that to him. And pretty much just like three like the third dimension is like a slice of the fourth dimension. Which is kind of weird. So if, like if you like if you think of like third dimension as a bunch of slices of 2D, the fourth dimension is a bunch of slices of 3D. Ooh. Also, is this not the secret? Okay, that can't be the secret room. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, this is the secret room. We got it. What? This is the secret room. I got it. This is called me not checking if things can actually be the secret room. But yeah, it was, it's such a, it's such a interesting, an interesting con or er, topic that really doesn't lead to anything, but it's cool. Also, wait, what the heck? Are there actually no red rooms off of this? That doesn't exactly make sense. But yeah, I was trying to explain it to him. I was trying to explain it to my coworker. I feel like I was explaining it a lot better earlier when I was talking to them. 
even though the, no matter what the way I was explaining it didn't really mean much but like we know the third we know the fourth dimension exists because we perceive the third dimension so we perceive like the product of the fourth dimension kind of I don't know if anybody knows the actual what the actual way to explain it let me know it's actually interesting also if you know the TED talk I'm talking about there's some guy I might have not been describing it well at all. But anyways, that doesn't matter. Other than that, work was good today. You know, it was a nice last day before I go on vacation. If you guys don't know, I'm going on vacation tomorrow. Um, so I'm quite I'm quite excited. Uh, it's going to be fun. But the work was kind of just... It was straight sluggish. Also, this is actually really good because it doesn't take away any of my health. But we kind of... It just kind of, kind of just went. Work was work today. And was it bad? No. Was it super fun? No. It was kind of a good day. I mean, every everybody I had today, um, I had three different students who I pretty much just talked to like the, the entire time. Now, one of those times, my the owner of the shop was literally just sitting and like it seemed like he was just watching what I was doing. But this is the this is the truth of the matter: is if I get fired from this job, I don't care whatsoever. Now, should you live your life like that? No. But. I'm like, if I get fired, I get fired. And I don't expect to get fired because I do a lot of work for them. I do good work. When I was talking, it's not like I was excessively talking. I was getting work done with them still. But, you know, I like I like to talk to people. I'm, I'm, I, I like conversation. So, he's just looking at me. I'm like, hmm, creepy. I don't like him looking at me. But I talked to one kid about, like, different classes in, in school. And, like, he's, like, talking about, like, he's asking about, like, how is, like, AP chemistry and that kind of stuff. And I was just explaining to him that, like, Every single class that you'll, like, hear about in high school, you'll hear horror stories about. It doesn't matter what class it, it is. Like, whenever I was going to take, like, higher level math in high school, people were like, higher level math, math is the worst thing ever. When I took, when I was, like, going to take standard level math, everybody's like, standard level math is the worst thing ever. No matter what you do or, what like, what you're looking at, people are going to say it's, like, the worst thing ever. It, it's just, it's just the, it's just the fate of it. People... There's always going to be horror stories. And so I was just like, I would just take it if you want to take it. But he's like, I'm really bad at chemistry. I'm like, Ooh. if you're really bad at basic chemistry, I did say if you're bad at chemistry, some people understand like organic chemistry more than they understand um, inorganic chemistry, aka like general chemistry. So I don't know. It, it, it's, it's weird. Like most people, I will say, don't understand chemistry. If they don't understand chemistry, they don't understand chemistry. But we were talking about that. This other kid and I were talking about like shoes and stuff because he had just got a new pair of like Vapor Maxes, and I like I like shoes. Shoes are cool, so I'm like, we were just talking about that. We we're also talking about just we were talking about a lot of stuff. He, he was asking me about my like YouTube channel and stuff, and about like ad revenue and that kind of thing, just because I like letting people. I, I I tell people that I do YouTube, like it's not something I try to hide or anything. So like, I don't know it it. it I, I try not. I try not to ever like bring it up like inorganically. I like. I try to. I try to only bring it up when it pertains to like. I'm not trying to ever flex on people. I'm not trying to flex on these like 13 year old kids. I, I sometimes they just like we're just talking and I mention it. And actually, sometimes they say is like, is this like your? Is this like your? Is this like what you do? Like, cause whenever they ask, they're like, oh, do you go to college? I say no. And they're like, oh, if you don't go to college, like. They, they always have they always have questions and so usually it ends up with like is this the only job you work and then it ends up to be like oh i also do youtube i'm not gonna say like nope this is the only thing i do because that would be a lie anyways then this the daniel got the daniel kid actually i was like primarily talking to most of the people i was with i feel like this daniel kid and i he was the one i was explaining i don't know why i said his name rest in peace daniel but um what was I saying? Oh yeah, he was the one I was explaining the f all the dimensions to. It makes more sense on paper. Also, I feel like I just get a, an intelligence buff when I'm at Mathnasium. I also get like an intelligence debuff when I get there. Let me tell you. Sometimes I walk into that plate, that building, and I literally lose every ounce of intelligence that has ever entered my body. Sometimes I enter that building and I'm straight deliberate. Is that a real word? No. I wanted to say that word, and it worked out. I do not want the star card. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, so this is the secret room. I can I can't remember if these walls can be the secret room. 
I mean, that could end up in the secret room. I realize that now. I am taking Yera over Blank Rune. Now, the reason why is because I'd rather have double the chest on chest than have the ability to suck them up for stats. I'd rather have more items than anything. Ooh, yucky. And I can't remember exactly how much health I have. Now, it doesn't matter because I'm not taking anything from this room. I never take Blood Oath. Blood Oath's not worth it. Um, actually, there was a time we had Blood Oath, and it was extremely worth it. Now, I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it might be... I don't remember what it was. There's some, something that, like, procs when you have Blood Oath, and it's actually really nice. Something like... I don't know. I can't remember. Thank you for the black heart. Thank you for the black heart. And I will come in here. I do need to save up keys a little bit more than I have been. But we shall be fine. Okay, good. Yeah. Let's see what else? Oh, um, Hades' birthday. I think was it was today for the video that came out. So this Thursday it was Hades. I think that's your name. Sorry if your name's not Hades. I'm, I'm actually just remembering wrong. But happy twenty-first birthday. People don't. I don't. People don't really comment when it's their birthday. It's kind of. I'm not. So this is a, 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 a call out to Hades. Like, Hades been a long time viewer. I know that because I see their comments all the time. Uh, certain people I see their comments all the time. But like, so, if somebody random came into my chat or into like my comments who I've never seen in my entire life and is like, "Hi, it's my birthday," it would be weird. But whenever it's people that who have been here for a long time, it's sick. I'm trying to. I, I that was kind of a weird tangent. I don't want anybody to think that I think they're weird. That's not what I'm saying. But. It's just interesting. I don't know anything about any of you. I know some stuff about some viewers because I've talked to them before. And I've streamed. That's what's kind of better about streaming is you actually like you don't get to know, like, you don't really get to know people. But like I know a decent amount about like different people from like my my stream chat. I know like many a true gamer. His name is Milo. He's a British dude. That's about all I know. Um, like, I know Josh Trug is a nurse in, in Germany. Like, I know I know a bunch of just random stuff. I'm, I can't really... I'm trying to think of people off the top of my head. It's not really working that well. Also, look at this. We get the bonus to our... To our tier rate. This is the strat. Oh, I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving. Get me out of here. Thank you. You know what? I don't give a freak. I'm taking it. I give a, a little bit of a freak now. Um, wait, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. Why? That, I don't know why I had Guppy's paw this entire time. Guppy's paw is actually kind of useless to me. I'm also not gonna delirium. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh yeah, I was just talking about Twitch chat or like uh, stream chat. Like, it's just interesting. But then like in, in YouTube, like I know I know I don't know. I just don't know anything. That's the only thing that's kind of nicer about, about like, streaming compared to um, just making YouTube videos. The thing is, like, I don't know. I want to I wanna word it in a way that makes the most sense. But, like, I don't necessarily, like, I feel like the thing is, like, I don't really necessarily, like, care to know about anybody who watches me. Because most of my make like I, that sounds so it, it sounds so rude the way that 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 in that phrasing it's not supposed to sound rude like the reason why I make content is because I enjoy making content and not because I'm trying to get to to like I'm not trying to like get to know the people who are watching me I like that it's a nice like side product of, of doing it it's like learning about people from my thing like people who are like hi I'm in Germany like somebody um somebody DM me today. I was like, hi, I live in Germany, and when I've been to Austria, they had tasted it, and they said it tastes like, like, I think they were saying it tastes like uh, Haribo gummy bears, because it, uh, Omdoodler does taste like the clear gummy bear. It's actually, it's just such, it's a goaded flavor. Um, and so that was cool. So, like, it, it's cool. I, it, like, but, like, I don't necessarily, like, it's not information that me learning changes my life in any way. But it, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to... What's, like, the best way to say it that doesn't make me f sound like I'm, like, I don't care about you guys? Because that's not what I'm trying to say. I do care. I, I love every single every single person who decides to click and watch my video. I do, do I love you as a viewer or as a person? 
Well, as a, as a viewer, because I don't actually know you. I can't say I, I actually love you. I, I love I love the concept of you of, of you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's just such a it's such a different thing to do YouTube compared to like streaming. That's one thing. Like that's kind of like why for the longest time I did try to do streaming and YouTube. I'll probably not stream that much ever. Not ever again. But like in the foreseeable future, just because it's. It's hard to do both. Cause like it's really it really is you either do one or the other unless you have an editor. Cuz like if you're a streamer, you should be streaming 5 to like 8 hours a day. Maybe that's a little too much, but like the biggest streamers stream a lot. Like they are streaming like 5 hours a day. And that's not even like a super long time. Cause, I mean, it's it's if you think about it like a job, that's really not like an insanely long time. That's actually shorter than most jobs. Also crawl space is dope. Oh my gosh, and it's a creepy crawl space a creepy crawl space that I don't care about whatsoever this is a bunch of items that I would have liked 14,000 years ago but now like kind of useless okay so I'm probably gonna skip to the next floor there's zero reason for me to fight Isaac this is one of the few times I'll ever actually skip a floor there's just no reason to to do this floor get me out of here now, there have been times that I've for forgotten to use Yera. But yeah. Another big news is the uh, the Charizard Terror Raids have started officially. I'm about to, like, um, absolutely just, like, beef up an uh, Asmorel and just have the best Charizard Pokemon. But I'm very scared to go do it. I think it's going to be pretty easy to find, like, a good group of gamers to do it with just by, like, random search online. But still worrisome. Also, Keybum, kind of dope, not going to lie. I really wish I had Black Rune because I would have gotten so many stats for this. But it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. We're, we're going to live. Okay, good. Wait, we have a lot of damage. And I enjoy this. Oh, my gosh. Don't shoot out at me like that ever again. Oh, my gosh. Wait. We're still shooting with Taurus. Wait a sec. We're still shooting with Taurus. Interesting. Also, why am I not doing more damage? Was something glitching out about that? I swear it had to be glitching out. I feel like I should have done a lot more damage than I just did. Who knows? Yeah, I'm excited for that. There's just not much for me to do in Pokemon. I'm still just like, I don't want a shiny hunt yet because I don't have, I don't have my, the shiny, like the shiny charm. I'm just waiting for either my brother or literally anybody else that I know to get, like, just a, a decent amount through the game. So, hopefully, hopefully, my brother or somebody I know can actually get to a point where, like, I can actually finish my Pokedex. Because I've been, I've been done, or, like, at the point where I could complete it for, like, a week, it feels like. Maybe less than that. It's not been out that long, I guess. It came out the 28th. That's crazy. It came out the 28th. Is that true? No, it definitely didn't come out the 28th. Because it came out before the... It did come... I don't know. Did it come out before Thanksgiving or after? I just can't remember at this point. Oh, wait a sec. I need to go grab those hearts. So I swear everything's just stronger than I am. Why does everything... I literally have 20 damage. Something's wrong. I don't like this game. Oh, so I want Super Bum. Give me bum. Give me bum friend. It's not something I'll ask for often, but I'm asking for it now and a better better payoff. So I'm just doing this. I'm gonna stay in this corner. And look at this. Taurus is for some reason still working. I think it's a glitch with not a glitch, I think it's a thing that's happening with Epiphoria. And we still uh, like abide by the laws of the the diagonal quadrants for where we can shoot and where we can't shoot, or where we can shoot and we can't shoot and where we can stand and can't stand. Like right now, if I cross over to here, I lose my tier rate. It's a little bit weird in these bigger rooms. It doesn't exactly make total sense. Nice. 
We need judgment. I'm just might as well use judgment and get like a health upgrade while I'm here. That'd be sick. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like a health upgrade while I'm here. And I'm gonna pay you out and see if you can give me anything decent. These guys don't really pay out too often, but if they do, it's a very mediocre payout. Well, don't expect anything good from you. Okay, I'm gonna go to this big room up here real quick and see how this treats me. I'm looking for the secret room still. Not you. Yeah, it's gonna be such a long drive. Hopefully my brother's plays Pokemon the entire time, beats it, and just, I don't know. I just need anybody. Anybody who can, I just need somebody. I have so many friends who have Scarlet who just haven't beaten it. Like my best friend's brother has Scarlet. I messaged him, he's like, I'm like, well, how far in the game? He's like, oh, I'm on the third gym. Now, did he, had he just gotten the game that day? I think he had. So he might be done at this point. I'm gonna message him. He might be the key to my my problems. But I just want to be done. I just want to be done and get my shiny charm. I want to have no more Pokemon that I need to catch. Cause it's just 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 a huge, huge bane to my existence right now. Oh, a spider! How lovely, Mister. Thank you. And how wonderful is this? If only I had a, a reroll. Actually, I don't even need a reroll. There's not even an item in here. Okay, well. What was the card in here? I don't have a card. Might as well take this. But what else? I still need a pack. Right now it's a it's close to midnight and I still have the pack. I've not really done anything. We since we're driving, we might leave even earlier than we were planning to yesterday. And I'm like, this is the wrong direction. Why are we leaving even earlier? I think we're driving eight morrows eight morrows. Eight hours tomorrow. Um tomorrow being Friday. Um we're driving eight hours to like Savannah, Georgia, and then we're gonna drive the rest of the way the next day. So we'll only have like four hours the next day, but still, like, I absolutely despise car rides. It's one of it's actually just one of my least favorite things ever. Plane trips are okay. Why? Because planes are fun. Planes are like slightly more comfortable, and it's just the idea that I am not gonna be on that flight for more than like a couple hours at a time. Usually, like, plane. Plane trips are split up very nicely. So. Let's hope everything goes well. I look, look so... I look, I look like a, I have a black unicorn horn because of Lodestone. Lodestone and the other items I have. Oh. How many keys are you going to take? You know what? I'm going to mess everything up and take Ludovico. Oh my gosh. That's a big old tier. It does have homing, which actually it messes it up more than anything. You kind of just have to let it do its own thing. If you try to, if you try to take control, it will usually bite you in the butt. And this is such a bad room for this to ha be happening in. It does not want to travel in certain directions. Now it does go faster towards enemies it wants to go towards. Like right now, it's it's locked onto it locks onto a certain enemy. So now it's locked onto all of these, and it wants to move to the right. So it'll move really fast to the right. Now it wants to move up. And now where does it want to move? It's a free spirit now. So let's move towards this guy. If you try to move away from an enemy, like right here, it's going to be really, really slow. Like that's me going full force away. I can't do anything against it. Jeez, I am actually getting bam blasted. Now, is it my... F I, I took Ludovico because it's it's a fine item. It's actually really good for a single boss just because do, we do so much tick damage. It's, such, it's just a completely awful item though for big rooms. So if I knew there was a big room coming up, I might have waited, honestly. You know, I, I need some more tick damage, please. Thank you. Look how much tick, like, it, it increases the damage so much. Thank you. That should be fine. But yeah, not a super good time. You know what? Let's do this. I'm trying to think of the last time we drove really far. It was the last time we went to our property in Tennessee. It's actually the first time we went to Tennessee, like, almost a year ago. Now we don't travel a lot, but we have gone on a few family trips. So we did go on like a kind of family trip because we haven't been on a real family vacation in a while. We did go on like a kind of family vacation to go like look at property in Tennessee because my parents want to move. But that's about it. Also, how can you drop that heart without letting me know? You're an awful little human being. I will say Ludovico is the most 
inhibiting item ever. It makes it so like the chance of us going to delirium is now zero. I don't think we can beat delirium no matter what with this. Also, why are you getting magnetized to me? You are messed up. Thank you. And that right there is gonna be the run. But yeah, that right there, this might be the last video guy video you guys see for a couple or a few days. Um, I'm trying to think how the uploads are going. So I'm uploading number 34 on Saturday, 35 on Monday, and 36, or no, not 90, 96, 96 on Wednesday. So you, might, you guys might have a few days with no videos. I'm going to try to wake up tomorrow and record an episode before I leave. But if my parents are trying to make us leave at like 10 a.m., um, then that's definitely not happening. So we'll have to see what happens. I was hoping we we're going to leave later, but it is what it is. Also, why am I so just washed out? Why is it so bright? Why is there such a bad shadow? Did my lights get turned? I don't know what's happening. But anyways, that right there is going to be the run. Why is it? Oh, my hair's messed up too. That's going to be win. I'm going to go back to the game real quick. That's going to be win number 296 in a row as Eden. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Might be a few days till you guys see me again, but thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's been Preets. Peace out. Bye.